Hello? Okay. Let's. Okay. So this is the problem with the feedback. Basically, we're gonna have to do is it's. Hello. Okay. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. So Hello. See, this is the problem with the, with the microphone. What happens is it's picking up all the sound. Testing, testing. You're saying all that That's stuff. Going up to well, it takes a few seconds. Okay, so. Oh, yeah, okay. Hello. Do you hear me? You heard me? Okay. So now I'm going to start counting. 1951, 1950, 1948, 1945. He's behind. But I'm saying you have to watch it. 1934, 1933, 1932. Now watch it and listen to it. Compared to this. Compared to this. They have to go to a different room. Oh, I. 1927, 1926. The only thing is, I don't hear. Yeah, I'll go to a different room. Yeah. 1841, 1840, 1839, 1838. Yeah, I think it's a little off. I mean, it's clearly off, but I'm saying, he's saying that once he gets back to the last, he'll be behind. 1826, really 1825, 1824, 1824, 1824. Can you turn up your mic and I want to see something? Oh, wait. Yeah, so that's the, that, so that's, it's, all, it's about three seconds off. So we have to let's see that article. Mr. Jim said. Sorry for that. So this microphone's not doing anything. Testing, testing. This is not doing anything. Good. You want audio delay on the on the audio input caption, right? Yeah, exactly. Because video takes less time than Testing. If your thing is on, this means one's on. Aurel, I mean, Gushy, tell them that the ROCCO one is Rocco. Tell Aurel. What? Rocco. ROCCO, tell Aurel the guy saying it's half Rocco. The bottom one. Okay, wait, so. Are uh, you sure? Can I hear it here? Yeah.
test it out. You want to test it out? Okay. Just start. Look, look at it with the scoreboard and see if it lines up. Hello and welcome. You are testing, testing. 13, 20, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. Perez, hello. Come in, turn your microphone off. Hopefully, people can hear us. Testing. 13, 13, 13, 12. Number five, shooting some free throws. Oh, whoops, that's 32. Wrong time, wrong time, my fault. 1304, 1303. Is yours on? Is it green light on? 1302. We got 24 12, 59, on Amazon 12, 50, for the 12, 50, floater 50, at warm ups. He gets it to go. And they're running some three man weave. Two on one fast break coming down. Behind the back, pull up Jay. Layup. He gets that to go. Okay. I guess there's just calm down what's going on. It's like Furman, Alex August lining up for a free throw. And here goes Gibby Gibby Margulies directing the offense. And he's trying Arizagi. I mean, what's Arizagi got going on there? Are those, are those knee sleeves? Are they some shin guards? I don't know what's going on. Oh, we got 12, 12 18, 17, 17, 12, 12 16, 12, 15, 12, 14, 12, 12, 12, 11, 12, 10, 12, 9, 12, 08, 12, 07, 12, 06, 12, 05, 12, 04, 12, 03, 12, 02, 12, 01, 12, 11, 59, 58, 57, 56, T negative 11, 54 till game time, T3, T 11, 52, T 50, 11, 51, 50, 11, 49, 48, 11, 47, 46, 8, 45, 44, 43, 42, 41, 40, 39. That's, that's a, that's turn it off.
Testing, testing. Hello. Testing, testing. Test. Testing. Testing, testing. Testing, testing. 424, 423, 421, 420, 470, 470, 'll pick up some like just just be close and then going on hello and welcome to the Cougar Dome for a championship battle between the St Anselm's Panthers and the Bourbon Cougars I'm Danielle Fersger alongside Eras Epstein here in the booth we came to you with the JV semifinal game against Sandy Spring we're hoping for a different outcome today for these Cougars, a chance to put a banner up on a wall that's been missing, a banner since 2019. I mean, I'm looking at the wall right now, is, is there a single middle school banner up there? I don't think there are any middle school banners in I mean, school history. In literally, what, 70, 80 years of Berman basketball, this is an opportunity to make history. Yeah, I mean, is, any chance to make history is one this team has to seize. We have a great lineup here, one of the best we've had for, in the, for the eighth grade and middle school team. Uh, in a long time, so I mean, this is this is our chance. This is Alex, the school's chance. Alex August is, I mean, he's a middle school generational talent. No one's really seen anyone rip up middle school basketball in years the way he has this year. I mean, what? How many points did he have last week? Forty points. I think it was forty-four or something like that in sixteen minutes. I, I mean, that, that is might, just. I think that might have been a school high in points. And he did that in sixteen minutes. That is just wild. I mean, it's middle school level. They only play six minute quarters. So to think that. He was able to manage to do that in a, I mean, uh, sat over another quarter. Exactly. That is just crazy. So Unbelievable. Well, and he's he's teaming up with uh, Gaby Margulies. Gaby Margulies is a star great point player. Guard. He really feeds him the ball, gets him a lot of those points. He he has over 10 assists a game sometimes. I mean, we're, we're definitely going to be have Gaby Margulies on triple-double watch. A lefty, really, the uh, partner in crime to Alex August here. And then we finish out the lineup with uh, Erez Zaghi, a great shooter on the wing, and Akiva uh, Kranzler and Jonah Udler, the two two guys who will be holding down the paint for these guys. St. Anselm's, we can see, has some very, very tall players. So those those guys are going to be key to the Cougar W today. Sobo. Sobo. A lot of fans here love to see it. I mean, this is really giving me a lot of vibes to our JV championship. Oh, wow, I see the St. Anselm's varsity basketball team is here in the stands to support their middle school team, even though they're, I mean, what, five, six years older than these guys, four or five years older, they're here, really here to support. And Arel Zaghi will come here to read out the lineups for both teams. And these guys, this is their first chance to call out lineups in their entire Berman career. It's got to be exciting for I these mean, players. Years I mean, ahead of them. Though. Years ahead for this. These guys are going to be getting flashbacks to this moment when they play in their JDS games when they're later in high school. And they're just going to remember the first time they did it and every time they do, they'll think of this moment. I mean, it's nice. I mean, Coach Marlin not, didn't used to always be the middle school coach. This is what his, this is his first year coaching his middle school year and a championship, and a appearance. championship appearance already in his first year looking to really take advantage of this opportunity, put a banner on the wall, make Berman history. Unfortunately, the JV team he coaches was not able to get a banner this year. A great season, but he'll look to convert on the middle school level and we'll be quiet for a second while Arell announces the lineups.
41, Jacob Williams. 45, Aiden Watkins. And 25, Rocco Williams. No, no, he needs it. He knows other names. And here we go, the Berman Cougars yeah. about to come out onto the court. We'll let you hear this. Alright, starting at number five. Number 12, Jonah Ayer. As a power forward, number 22, Akiva Grandma. Starting at Small forward, number three, Ellen Collins! Next up, we got number 13, Gary Morales! And last, but certainly not least, number 11, Ellen And that's the burn lineup right there. I mean, they saved Alex August for last eighth grader, his third season on the middle school team. I think I think we see in this corner over here. You guys can't see this on the stream, but there is a full corner of Berman fans. We're just gonna call that Cougar Corner for the rest of the night. I mean, Cougar Corner looks to get. We're all gonna see them get hyped. I mean, Eris, what are the keys to this game for the Berman Cougars? I mean, look, the Sandy Spring. I mean, sorry, St. Anselm's. We're a little bit confused from the last game. They're a lot taller. This team's gonna have to rebound. They're gonna have to. And the game is underway. And Rivera Cougars will come with the ball. Gaby Margulies controlling the offense. He'll look to set it up. August on the wing, back to Margulies. Anselm sitting in a zone. August on the wing, back to Margulies. He dribbles over to the left side to Zagi. To August in the corner, it goes out of bounds. Good defense by St. Anselm. This team actually usually plays a lot of transition. So we'll see how they can do in a set offense uh, on one side of the floor. And Cougars get the ball into Margulies. He'll work up top. Gets by the Anthem defense. Out to August on the top of the key for three. And he cannot get it to go. Rebound Anthem's. And they'll have to push up the ball in transition. Right, perfect pass. Easy layup. I mean, that's exactly what the Cougars like to do. And Anthem's are playing their game. I mean, the Cougars are Cougars bringing up the ball here. They're going to have to be careful about letting transition plays like that happen. Anthem's in a press. And that'll be a foul on St. Anthem's on... As number, Gaby number Margulies went diving the to the floor. The Margulies, they like being on the floor. They right? really that do. Also. He, he's willing to give up anything for the Margulies. Hold up to set up the offense against this Anthem zone. They're in some zebra. To August on the top. Over, he'll pass it to Margulies. On this extended Anthem zone. Great defense. Margulies into the corner. Dribbling Looking. back to the wing. Over to Zagi, easy layup, and he gets it to go. A great pass by Gaby Margulies. Huge play there. We can see the upper school dean, of, uh, upper school activity advisor, Ms. Zagi, going crazy. Her son just got a bucket. Anselm and brought up Anselm's. the ball. Let's go. Over to 32. That 32 is Shawbach into the corner to 25. He puts it up, and he cannot get the match to go. Rebound 41 on Anselm's. Fade away, no good. Rebound Margulies. Pull up to push. And Anselm's in their press. Anselm's putting a little, a little pressure up top, uh, really, but not, not a major press August here. August brings it up. Crossover, pull up Jay from the elbow. He can't get it to go. Rebound. That oh, is. No. And then Rocco Williams. Hold up to bring it up on Margulies. Euro step. No good. Rebound, Zagi. And Zagi gets it over to Margulies. Hold up to bring it up. Alex looks like he's rushing his shots here a little. He's going to have to take some more comfortable looks than the ones he's getting right now. Hopefully his team can create for him. Marlon calling out the play. Margulies will get it over to Zagi. Zagi to August. August over to Margulies. Open three. He drives. Floater. And he cannot give it to go. Rebound August. Alley, you put back. Oh, he oh, cannot he... get the roll. Rebound Williams. Hold up to bring the ball up. And it's interesting here. The biggest man on St. Anselm's is the one bringing up the ball for them. Williams. Williams. Over to Williams. Are they brothers? They are and he brothers. gets it to go. And that's a great move. Are Rocco and Jacob Williams brothers? They are brothers, I believe. They look... They look similar. And on the oh, and that's right. Stolen by Rocco Williams. Foul yeah. on August. I mean, this is just not the start. The Coors would like to see. Anzal is putting on pressure, pushing the ball. I mean, they're 
bringing the energy into this gym. Our Cougars need to, they need to calm down. They need to make smart plays. It's good. This game is going to be about smart basketball, not about who makes the flashy plays, not about who makes any plays like that. They just got to play smart and not turn the ball over. Okay, Jacob Williams, for control over in the corner. Two. That is Welch. Welch for three. Welch cannot get it to go. That is a rebound by. And rebound by Williams. He'll take it out. He gives it over to his brother. And that is blocked. Great rebound by Margulies. Who blocked that? The energy in this gym is just palpable. It's awesome. Margulies brings up the ball. He looks to get it over to August, but August gets it. August driving inside to Zagi. Over to Kranzler. Kranzler to Udler. And he loses the ball. Controlling by Shabak. I mean, St. Anselm's and, and Cougars are playing an extremely fast-paced game here. One side's going to have to slow it down. We're going to see who it's going to be. And Welch drives to the basket. He can against go rebound. Kranzler, he'll get it to his point guard, Margulies. And they love to set up the offense. Here's Margulies. Oh, Margulies oh, over to August on the wing. He sets it up. You, know, you don't realize these six-minute quarters, they really go by fast. Yeah, only two minutes left in this first quarter. Over to August. August. See, I'm step back. Jay, he gets it to go. A beautiful move by that, Alex August. That was a fantastic shot, but it didn't look com it did not look comfortable. He's gonna need he's gonna need a D taking more comfortable shots. I don't know how if those are gonna fall for him and all Jacob Williams over to Welch. Drive to the basket. Easy. Great move, Leia. That's a great move. And they'll look to set up their press. Kranzler gets it into Margulies. Margulies goes to the other side, and he drills right into the trap. Foul on Welch. I mean, the, the defense is there. They just got to play it right for St. Anselm's. The Cougars need to pass this, uh, break this press with passing. I don't think Zerbling's going to get them around. They might get some foul calls and get bailed out, but they're really going to need to pass out of this zone. Anselm's making some substitutions. Cougars just need to keep doing, doing how, playing how they have usually play this season. They're undefeated, in fact, and they beat this team by 15 or 14 points last time. So uh, now we have... Let's see what they have. Sherlock will sub out of the game. Margulies dribbles right through the zone over to Zagi. Zagi to August. He takes those. That's a deep three, but he can hit those and he cannot get it to fall. Rebound and off Cougar of ball. Williams. Cougar ball under the basket. The Cougars need to play big here. There's some big guys on St. Anselm's. Let's see what they could do. Gaby Margulies. Gaby, a nice take under the basket. He gets it to go. The Cougars are up 7 6. That's a great 25. take. That's a great take. Williams brings it up, gives it over to his brother. He dribbles right through the interior of the defense, controlled by, I'm not sure, and stolen by Kranzler over to Margulies. Margulies brings it up, he looks to push, he's pushing the pace. And he calms it down, looks to set up the offense. He'll give it over to August. August drives straight through the defense, he'll get fouled, and another elbow jumper. A foul on number 13, he just checked into the game. This is, number 13 is, this that may is this, Matra. Matra. This may slow down the game actually for the Cougars, which could be could be a positive thing. Alex August at the free throw line. And he can knock it the first one to go. I mean free throws really could be the story of this game. We don't know, but the, these points are huge, especially in these short quarters where a quarter may end seven to six as it is right now. I mean And he gets the second one to go. Cougars up two. St. Anselm's will bring up the ball. Chico Williams over to his brother, Rocco. I mean, Daniel seems to love this storyline. I love it. I love the, the brothers. They seem to be two of the big players on this team. I mean, Mom, I don't know who she is in these bleachers, but she's got to be loving this. Her two sons leading Cougar, the St. Anselm's team. The ball in, and that is stolen. Cougars destroyed by the be pressure. More, more careful with the ball. Williams over to Matra to Williams for three. That's an air ball. And that's two the, straight air balls by the, the brothers. The Cougar corner is going to love that air ball chant yeah, after they're, that. Yeah, they're going to be chanting. I don't know how nice that is. I know my mom always is upset whenever we chant the air ball chant. She doesn't feel like it's such a nice one. But you know what? In championship games, everything's oh, out the window. Zoggy just throws so, the ball out. I don't know what happened there. Maybe he slipped. I think he slipped. The important thing here is just keeping keeping their composure. I mean, look, this game's this game's not out of hand for either mm. team. Coach Ryan will call a timeout. They just gotta stay stay confident, stay calm. I mean, Daniel, what what do you think has 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 been the success key to the success of this Cougars this, this Cougars team the entire season? I mean, they've literally. I mean, it's been uh, looking to push the ball out in transition, and getting Alex August those looks by the rim. 
And I mean, the threes, they fall from Zagi, they fall from August, Margus gets some of them. And I, I mean, they just I gotta th get I that. They, I don't think they've played so many really defenses like this that are pressuring them. Right. I, I think actually this game, only, there's only been one attempt for Alex August on a putback at near the rim. I mean, most of his shots have come from even behind the arc. So Alex August is gonna need to get inside if, if they wanna take high percentage shots um, to really build a lead here. Uh, the Cougars are not in, have, have not been in any close games this season. The closest game being against this same St. Anselm's team and, and winning by 14. And Williams will bring the ball up. He brings it over to, and that's August hits it out off of August. A great defensive play. Now, do you it, like August style with the uh, undershirt? I love it. I love it. He pulls it off nicely. Yeah, he does. I mean, usually he goes with the white one, but today we got a nice black. I mean, contrast. it's a championship game. It's St. Anselm's funeral Whatever. today. He's got to wear the black shirt. Got to come works. out. And over to Williams, back to Williams. Travel, oh, Danley loves getting those travel calls. You travel in front of his eyes, he'll catch you for him in a second. 16 seconds left, the Cougars are gonna wanna hold for one, assuming they can get the ball up the court. Margulies brings it up against the press. He'll get it over to, oh, stolen by Williams. Ill-advised pass to Margulies, good finish. Oh, he can't get it to go. I mean, that. Rebound Margulies over to Zagi, back to Margulies. Hold three. up to bring it up. I mean, they got three seconds. Run out from the blue line. He's hit those every day. Wild! Oh, oh, from the red line I by mean, Alex yeah. August. Yeah, you just knew that was going in, didn't I you? I knew right away. I played lunch ball with him. I played, he came to our practice the other night. Alex August will hit those if you leave him open. I mean, like, and they did there. And that is a I, huge I gotta, shot going to the second quarter. I got to think that guy's a future varsity player. Maybe even next year. 45 points in a game is just unheard of. And pulling up shots from the red line with confidence. I mean, he didn't even look like that was, that was, that was just, that was just a normal stroke for him. I mean, after, I mean, a quarter where I feel like the Cougars turned the ball over a lot, could, did not face the pressure well. I mean, Coach Singer always talks to our team about closing out quarters well, and I don't know if he could close that in any better way than they just did. A defensive stop, and then a buzzer beater three. I mean, look, for some reason, the buzzer beater threes have been falling on this court for the Berman teams. I mean, recently, Especially when we're commentating. Especially when we're commentating. I know we hit a buzzer beater with RL Hassan in the semifinal game. I know that Simon Goldberg hit a, almost a full court shot I mean, in one was, of the varsity games. That was just games. wild. And, and even just now, Alex August pulls up from the red line, which is not even a basketball. I mean, I know, I know, it's, it's a volleyball. I know line. at the end of one of their games, Yakov Lesno had a buzzer beater after dropping a kid. Yeah, I mean, that, I, I know that was with seven seconds left in the game, up by sixty. I mean, but you know what needs to know that dropping someone uh, oh, is dropping. Shout someone. out to Mr. Hector wearing a drippy outfit, the that, mint Jordans, that, that green color with the really mint out. sweater. Really, that, that he's showing out with that with that outfit. We love to see it. Does this give? Does this remind you of any other uh, championship games against St. Anselm's here? Ben Winters freshman year. That's all I'm gonna say. Let's all right, here we go. Anselm's back Williams. into the game. Williams over to Williams. He will look to dribble. Stolen by Margulies. But he brings up the ball. And he slows it down. Oh, hold up to oh, he gives it to August. August with confidence. He, Another three. He's that can't get that to go. Oh, Margulies saves it. Oh, and he crans a great effort. He gets to the floor and a jump ball. That's gonna win them the game. Gaby Margulies flies out of bounds with a save. And Akiva Kranzler gives everything he has to try and wrestle that from number 25, who is uh Williams. Oh, and Williams getting a talking from the ref, a little warning. I mean, he's just bigger. I don't know if that was necessarily an outrageous play, but he's just a lot bigger than Akiva Kranzler. Yeah, these guys are going to have to fight. Kranzler gives it to Zagi, to August, confident three. And that's blocked. And that was August. Blocked. Over to Welch. Welch off the board, no. Taken by, and that was, I, mean, I didn't see you. Coach Wallace was blocking the view there. Inside. I was saw that it. Welch again? Yeah, Welch just slithered inside. Got an easy easy layup after his miss. And Margulies oh, loses no. the ball. That's carry. carry. These Cougars just have to stay calm. I mean, they, they, can't, they can't be making mistakes like that. That's going to cost them the game. I mean, it's still early, but these are huge plays. And Williams gets it into Williams. He powers up, and he's smothered. They're smothering him. A uh, foul. Coach I mean, Brown's clearly telling them he's bigger than them. They're sending four guys at him when he gets the ball. Look, Arizagi swarmed him there, got picked up a foul, but honestly, I think it's just sending a message. It's an important message to send to number to, to uh, Rocco Rocco Williams, saying that you know you may be bigger, but we're not gonna let you bully us. We're gonna we're gonna play some team defense, really smother you, and make you work for all your points. Uh, here he is at the line. Rocco Williams makes the first one, and. Uh, Schaubach, back into the game for number 13. 
who is uh, Matra. So Matra out of the game for Shawback. And here's, here's Williams at the line again for his second. And he misses the second one. Akiva Kranzler with the rebound. And jump and he gets foul. Fouled. He gets fouled. I mean, Kranzler they were really good in hostile plays. They were all over him there. It was good. He held on and uh, picked up a picked up a foul on the other team. So a great, shout great out play there by Kranzler. Shout out to Steve Ackhammer, the ex athletic director and the ex coach of this team, who is here to show support for the team. Uh, we don't usually see him so much. Margulies throws it away, stolen. That is the off of St. Anselm's Cougars ball. Cougars catching a break there, but. Coach Marlon telling Gaby Margulies to just calm it down. He doesn't need to push anything. He got to trust his teammates. He's got some great players on this court. I mean, Alex Hawk is notably uh, who's dropping 40 points a game, but the other guys also. These are good. These are good players. These are good eighth grade players. They got to just get them the ball. Margulies brings up the ball. He gets it over to August. August working on Welch. Oh, he dribbles straight into the double team trap. Williams, easy layup. He gets it to go. Looks high I mean, game. These guys, I think Alex and Gaby just really have to trust their teammates. They need some help. Erez, Akiva, and Joan Aldo are going to have to help out. Gaby brings up the ball over to August. August shows right past him. And he, oh, and he just it throws away. it away. Williams will take it on the break. And that's and an and one. I mean... I mean, now, I mean, this is a huge momentum play for the San Anselm's team. Williams is just have to be have to be smarter with the ball. Yeah, I mean, Coach Marlin might need to call a timeout to and to really draw up a play to break this press because that might have been three straight turnovers right there. And Williams will look to I knock mean, down and, this free throw to give San Anselm a three point lead. Are, that's it, and he makes a free throw. These turnovers are coming from the Cougars' best players. I mean. They, they, that's who Coach Marlin trusts with the ball, and they just they got to step up for their team. I mean, the big big time players make big time plays and show up in big time games. So Zardy. we're gonna see what these guys have. Over to Margulies, and Margulies turns the ball over again. I mean, I need a timeout from Coach Marlin right here, Williams, and he gets the easy finish. And Coach Marlin is still not calling a timeout. I mean, I'm gonna trust Coach Marlin here. He must know what he's doing. Margulies brings the ball, gives it over to August. August shows through the trap. He gets straight through the interior of the defense. And he just can't get the floater to go. And he gets his own rebound, puts it back up. No good. Rebound, Kranzler. And that'll be off of number 45. I love Akiva Kranzler's fight. Watkins. I love his fight. He's fighting for everything. These guys are much taller, but he's not giving up. And he's alone getting possession for these Cougars. Gets August an open three there. And he, August gets it to go. A huge shift from Alex August. His second of the game. And Cougar corner is going crazy after that shot. They're excited. I mean, now it's almost Cougar sideline. <laughs> but it's... And Williams that, gives it over to Shawback. Back, back to Williams. Williams over to... Well, into Watkins. Watkins to Williams, and he goes to the ground. Foul on... on foul Williams, on Williams. Pat, Pat's Offensive giving Margulies foul. on the back. That's giving Margulies fighting also. I mean, this, this kind of heart is what's going to win them a championship. So... I hope these guys know no matter what happens, you can see the fight. I think, you can see their hustle. You can see their heart. I think Coach Marlin finding out that Williams has two fouls. They'll look to attack him as he's a pivotal part of this Anselm's team. August for three. Uh, oh, I thought that was going in. Watkins with the rebound. He'll give it over to Williams. Williams will look to bring the ball up. I mean, and there, and you just saw Alex August pulling up from anywhere on this court. Williams over to Williams. Care. And he cannot get it to go. Rebound Margulies. He'll bring it up. He'll spin move. Straight through the trap. Straight through the defense. Over to August. August for three. He gets it to go. He's third three of the game. And Alex, the Cougars take a one-point lead. Alex August normally not. I mean, he can make threes, obviously, but he never, normally doesn't have to. Today, Anselms is really testing him, seeing if he's got it. And a three from That's long, number 13. Rebound, rebound. rebound. Williams. He snatches it up. Shot, and it's down. stolen on the other end Matra, of the court. Stolen by Matra. That's a very Over to Williams. Play. Floater. He can't get it to go. He gets his own rebound. Goes back up with it. Can't get it to go. His own rebound again. Spin move. Blocked by Adler. Back out to Matra. Matra gives it over to Williams. Williams drives on Margulies. Spin move. And he can't get it to go. Over the back call. And that's, gotta be, that's the third foul on Williams. That's the second foul. All right, he's got two fouls now. I mean, look, this game is not such a long one. So two fouls into the second quarter is not a huge deal. I think uh, Coach Marlin's really going to tell him. fans oh, are not like Akiva that Kranzler call. right now. No, that's smart coaching. He's telling Akiva Kranzler, really bring it into number 25. Try and draw a foul. Over to Adler. Other inside to August. August. Uh, contested three. He was feeling it. That was a little heat check shot. 
You can accept that, but now I'll know not to go for the next one. So contested like that. And Mitra over, knocked away by Arizagi. Great defense, and that is all for Williams. Carlos Lacuna's way. The Anselm's fans are not happy about that it. They're appeared, shaking their heads. That appeared to be off of Arizagi from our perspective, but you know what? The ref, the ref knows best, right, Daniel? The ref does know best. There's no arguing with the ref. So Cougars will take the ball happily, and uh, like, well, they'll see if they can make something happen. Two and minutes left in the second Anselm quarter. seems to have pulled back their press. Margulies, a little half-court pressure. Over to August. August drives through the defense. What a finish. Oh, he can't get it to go. Gets his own rebound. Knocked to the floor. Rebound Williams. Williams looks to push in transition. Margulies is back. Euro step. And oh, I thought there was a little bailout call. Foul on Margulies. That might be his second oh, or third. It was a charge. It was a charge. Going the other way. Wow. Foul on Williams. That's huge for this Abbey team. Their Abbey fans can answer Abbey. St. Anthony's Abbey fans cannot believe the call. They are upset, but the refs are favoring these Cougars, and we're not going to say anything about it. I don't think there's any favoritism. That's just the right call. I mean, right. I mean, was strong for Williams. From the, An from the Anselm's Anselm perspective. perspective. Margulie straight through the interior's defense. Easy life. Oh, he cannot get it to go. Rebound Williams. And hold up. So slow it down. He gives it over to Maitra. And he'll bring up the ball. Maitra over to... Oh, he throws it out of bounds. Excuse me, that was Shawback. Shawback threw it to Maitra. Who could not handle the pass and went out of bounds. Williams over. Marco Williams coming back into the game. He's going to take his brother out of the game. I think they each may have two fouls, and uh, they're trying to really. Uh, he, I mean, the big thing for Rocco Williams is to not foul in his next minute and 23 seconds. Because going to the second half with three fouls could be huge. Margulies over to Zoggy. Zoggy back to Margulies. Margulies to August. August. A uh, contested. I don't know about that shot, but it'll go out of bounds off of Shawback Cougars ball. Cougars are going to take this ball. I mean, look, these guys are fighting for every chance. They're not getting so many open looks. Alex August smothered. I mean, August over to Zagi. Zagi straight through. Oh, he gets fouled, and he'll get two free throws. A great take by Aaron Zagi. Zagi, this is going to be extremely important that he hits these. At least one needs to go to tie up the game with a minute left in this quarter. I mean, they have and interesting, the Cougars have not subbed this entire half. The, the, the Anselm's fans are chanting the refs on payroll. I don't think he is. I think he's just making the right calls here. Cougars need to capitalize on these on these, uh, on these these misses. And David Malamid will check in for Jonah Udler, the seventh grade sensation. Whole look to make an immediate impact on this game. I mean, what, one thing I have to say is that I do love all, all the stylish clothes that these players wear. Arizagi misses the second Arizagi one. Arizagi with the knee sleeves, Devon with the leg sleeve. Exactly. And Williams will push the ball up. straight through the defense. Pull up Jay. That's he can't get it to go. Over. Rebound August. Pull up to push in transition. And he'll dribble straight back to the end. This is exactly where he works. And he can't get it to go. Rebound. He gets his rebound and gets it to go. Alex he's, he's August. A the big bucket. And they got to get back in defense as Williams is pushing it down. He gets and over to Shawback. Oh, Stolen by Margulies. Margulies. He slows it down and with 40 seconds over to Zaggy. Right Are you holding for one right now? No, Alex August wants a bucket. You can tell right now. Over to Malamid. And he got fouled. A great take. A great find by Alex August. A great take by Malamid. He'll get to the line. And there's another foul on uh, Jacob Williams. He's going to have to come out of the game. I think he may have three fouls. Look at that. I mean, look at this. The Anselm team has eight or nine fouls now in this first half. I mean, wow. St. Anselm's fans think about Adrian Danley works for Berman, but... Little did they know, I mean, he's an NBA Hall of Famer. He's not working for our school. And, and David Milano comes right off the bench and hits a clutch free throw. I mean, the team's got to be excited about this. And with the St. Anselm's fans chanting, he's going to knock that down. We'll see if he gets the second free throw to go. And David Milano, he cannot oh. get it to go, but they'll take a two-point lead as Williams looks to push the ball in transition. He'll get it over to Shaw back for three. No good, rebound Margulies. I mean, look, I, I, honestly, if I'm the Anselm team, I should have been holding for one. A smart team would be holding for one right here. I hope the Cougars do. Oh, Margulies pull up three. No good, rebound. Rebound Kranzler. He gets it to go, Akimo Kranzler. Four point game, five seconds left. Williams, he goes to the legs, through the defense. Off the backboard, no good. And the Cougars will take a four point lead. Going into halftime. And a four point lead going into halftime. That's huge for this Cougar team. And they're really going to look to capitalize on this four point lead. I mean, look, four points. That's a good amount of points. We're going to see what they can do with it for the second half. We'll see you then.
Dios, man. I don't know, whatever. Wait, wait. Oh, you're saying, okay, now you talk. Say something? Hello. I see. Oh, I see. I guess I was just
And, and welcome we're... back for the second half. Eric, what are the keys to the second half? Look, I mean, the Cougars have a four-point lead. They're going to need to protect. They're going to need to protect that with their lives. I mean, that four-point lead is all they have. That's all that's all that's in between St. Anselm's and a banner, and that's all they have. I mean, as we like to them say, towards a banner. as we like to say, 12 minutes for the rest of their lives. Right. I mean, these guys are going to remember this moment for the rest of their lives. We know that. And, I mean, normally if a game is ever tied at halftime, you'd say, you know what, 0-0. Zero, zero. You say that all the time, even if you're down or up. I think the Cougars have to look at this as a 0-0 zero, zero game and protect that lead as if it's a 0-0 zero, zero game. They can't let any of that go back to this to this Anselm's team. And Saint, and it looks like the Cougars will start with the ball. Ah, uh, St. Anselm's will start with the ball in the second half. It really nice to see how many high schoolers came out to watch this team play. I mean, these guys don't have to do it. I'm sure they have busy lives, but you know what? They're here, and they are excited. And there's a steal right off the bat. Alex Hawk is not technically a steal, but a tip. Deflection off of St. Anselm's brings it back to Cougars' and way. And Margulies will bring the ball up as a little pressure from Williams. Margulies will get it over to, uh, he'll bring it over to the left side. Straight through the defense. He'll give it low reverse. Can't get it to go. Rebound Williams. He'll bring up himself behind the back. He I goes mean, and hold dribble through the defense stolen by Udler over to Margulies. I, I can't I can't think that that's a look to, on either side that one team wants. Cougars have four point lead. They should slow this game down. Really get good shots. He's possession. Travel oh, on Margulies. Dan Lee catches him again. He did shuffle his feet a little bit there. Not the call you want to get. I know we mentioned this in the last broadcast, but Dan Lee, a Hall of Famer here, refing our. Our middle school game, so. As a timeout for, was that a time? Who called that timeout? I, I think the Anselm's. Anselm's coach called that. Trying to regroup. You know, they have the ball now, starting this half again. They Pretty much a reset. Uh, only half a minute's gone by, and nothing much has transpired. So we're going to see see what they have. See what they can do. Uh, as, as, we, as we look down this bench, I mean... I think only one other player has subbed in. Maybe David Muhammad. Has any other player checked in? Just a six-man rotation right now for the Cougars. David Muhammad played the last minute, maybe, of the first half. He, he came point. in and he scored a point, knocked down a free throw. But the Cougars are really sticking with their starting lineup in this game. Uh, yeah, it's, I mean, you can see you, Coach Marlin has, has his faith, and he has this, this team's carried him to an undefeated team. I mean, there's no reason to give up on them. These now. are the leading eighth graders of this team. There are seventh graders on this bench, sixth graders. They have more years. But these guys are going to go on to high school. This is their last chance for a middle school championship as Williams for St. Anselm's will bring up the ball with Arizaghi in a nice defensive stance. Williams Over finds the shot, shot back, back in the corner to Watkins. Watkins smothered by, and that'll be stolen by Kranzler. Oh, Travel on Kranzler right no, after the steal. That's the, that's just one of those unfortunate plays. You take the ball, you take a few quick steps, trying to get out, get away from the person you just stole from, and get caught for Travel. Williams knocked out by Margulies. He saves it. Stolen. No. Williams over to Williams. He gives it. Stolen by Zaghi. We'll take another break. You should slow it down right here. He finds his. Oh, kicked up. That's a yeah, good call, Dan Lee. I thought he might miss that one, but he got it. Yeah, kick I, ball. I mean, Jacob Williams deflected that with his foot, turned his brother Rocco into Calvin Johnson. And uh, to injured, injured St. Anselm's player. That is Shawback, Paul Shawback. We hope he's okay. I know if that's a calf crib, NG Sussman is probably looking for his um, massage, gun. massage gun to help out the St. Anselm's player as he is up. And the fans will clap, glad he's okay. He'll limp over to the he bench. Lo he looks like he's going to be okay. I would not be surprised if we see him back in this game. But, you know, I think it's just going to be a bruise. Could be a, obviously a pretty bad one as he was down. But I think I think he's he, he's got a part of a champion. Oh, sorry, I'm back. So yeah. it looks like we'll see him back in this game. Uh, Cougars ball. And that is Mitra who subbed in for the injured shot back. Uh, so the the ball, they get it over to Margulies. Margulies will set up the offense. Yeah, here we go. Margulies over to August. August spin move back to Margulies. Margulies dribbles through the interior of the defense. Step back, Jay. Off the backboard, a beautiful touch of the glass. And these are the guys that are going to need to step up for this team. Uh, they're doing everything they can. And I mean, Welch over to Williams. He gives it out of bounds off of August. It looks As like the Cougars are sitting back in a 2-3 zone now. Uh, they've, they've actually played this a lot of their season. Um, 
Williams wide open. He had a wide open Mitra, but he threw it way over his head. As Coach Steve here would say, he's not six feet tall. You got to throw that ball yeah, lower. I mean, you don't have Kevin Durant there waiting for that alley oop pass. You got a. I mean, if you got maybe a five foot four Mitra, as good as Mitra, he's no KD. Yeah, he's not getting. He, he is not dunking yet. Maybe next year. Uh, and Margulies will bring up the ball. A little pressure from Williams. Williams knows Margulies a lefty. He's playing him to his right hand. But actually, no. Zagi over to Margulies. Stolen. Nope. Back to Zagi for three. And he only rims out. And Williams over to Williams over to Welch. Welch, the jumper, can't get it to go Re off of. That'll be off of. Right, oh, Margie, he's over the ball. I mean, I, I know exactly how that feels. I myself was in a shooting slump, uh, and luckily I got out of it last night. But you know, missing those in and out shots can feel can feel horrible. You know, you wonder what, what what was that little touch that made it go out instead of you know. Going back to Matra, Matra, he's it to Williams. Williams crossover. He gets it to Watkins for the layup. He can't get it to go. Udler with the rebound over to Margulies. Margulies with Zion Marlin telling him to push the ball. He wants the pace. Maybe the Cougars can build a lead here. And Margulies goes to the ground just as usual. <laughs> Not really. And August Stolen will turn the ball over. Stolen by Williams. Williams on a two-on-one -on break. And he's got Watkins. Euro step. And he can't get it to go. Rebound Watkins. Off of Watkins. I hope they got that call. They did. And it'll be Cougars ball. Yeah, I mean, look. These guys have to pat. They're on three-on-one -on breaks. And... I I, I believe they got to pass those up, get him to an open teammate, trust him to make a wide open layup. And Gaby Margulies brings the ball up. He's actually being forced to his left hand, interestingly. Zagi to Margulies. We're going to see how com how comfortable these guys feel in high pressure he situations. Splits the, he splits the trap, and he gets an easy layup. A beautiful and take a, by Margulies. That was a great move. One that you love to see. Williams brings the ball up. He gives it over to Welch as the cooler corner is chanting. He's in the last honor. They are pumped. They are pumped for this month and for him. I know at the Max Turn Athletic Center, fans do this a lot as YU is powering through their playoff push. And I love to see the cooler corner taken after that. And a 4 0 run for this Cougars, I believe, extended. It's actually a 9 0 run from the first half, if I remember correctly. Um, but these Cougars, you know, doing giving, giving everything they have and they're building a, a lead that they can hopefully keep for the fourth quarter and, and beyond. Uh, Danielle, what do you what do you think are what do you think they have to keep doing or or change up? I mean, I, I believe mean, they're doing things right. The defense in this quarter has been phenomenal so far. St. Anselm's has not scored one point. Right. I mean, and these St. Anselm's players, they're bigger, but they're they they they're not capitalizing inside and they're not sharing the ball like our like these Cougars are. So, Cougars team basketball might overcome this this St. Anselm's team. I mean, it kind of seems like this team. I mean, it's the Williams brothers. And then I don't know how much they're trusting their teammates as much, but when they can't get their shots to fall, their de their offense just doesn't get anything to go. As Krenz will get into August, hold up to bring the ball up, and he dribbles right into the double team, stolen by Matra. Over to Welch, Welch over to Williams, Williams for three. He gets it to go. And that's a huge shot by Williams for this San Angeles team. They really needed a play like that. Oh, and it's tipped. Krenz comes away with it. it. He gives it over to Zagi. Zagi to Margulies, his whole set up the offense. And Margulies straight through the defense over to Kranzler. Mid-range shot, he gets it to go. A second bucket for Akiva Kranzler. And Kranzler is just hitting the shots that they need him to hit. He's not doing anything fancy, but giving his all in, and it's, and it's working. And Williams gives it over to Welch. Welch dribbles through the defense, over to Williams. Stolen by Oxlade, he gets in transition. This is his game. Euro step one, and we can't get the layup to go. Rebound Williams. I still have to push it the other way. And he'll go. And that's just a contested mid-range shot. Not the look Anselm's wants, but his brother will get the rebound. And can't get it to go. Rebound, Margulies to Zagi. And Williams, good effort play, and he gets a jump ball. I mean, that's just a great play by Williams. Sloppy play by the Cougars. I mean, Arizagi's just got to dribble the ball there, as Coach Marlin just, just exclaimed. I mean, like... Zagi's a ball handler. He's a guard on this team. He can take it up. He can do whatever he needs with it. He's got to feel confident to take just take that up himself. Kranzler gets it into August. I mean, that's just not a great pass. And August comes away with it, gives it to Margulies. And Margulies will look to push. Margulies. And he gives it the ball away on the floor. And that's just an easy layup for Matra. Matra, a five-point game. And Margulies gives it away. He's one of the best players on this team. 
Or to August. Oh, August. August gives it away. Turns the ball over. Back Again, back. the St. Anselm's press is killing the Cougars. And a foul on August. I mean, look, he's. These guys are too. That has a foul on Margulies. Oh, it's on Matra. It's going oh, the other way. That's on Matra. I mean, this. That's just a demoralizing call for Matra. Great defense there, and then gets called with a foul. But these Cougars are doing everything they have, everything they can, to keep this lead intact. Oh, and there, and there he is. There's, there's Shaw back getting ready to go in the game. And Margulies is bringing the ball continue. up. He'll give it over to August at the blue line. August straight through the defense. Another, no, he gets on the floor. And that'll be timeout. Marlon gets a timeout and they'll retain possession. Yeah, that's, that's good. I mean, that's good August, coaching. Knew his player was in trouble. Possessions are so important in this game. He's going to keep it for his team. I mean, it's just been a sloppy play in these last two minutes since that timeout when the defense was phenomenal by the Cougars. And now, I mean, as I say, basketball's game of runs. And Anselm's just getting the run right now. Uh, I guess they're going to see if they can uh, keep this run going. A smart timeout by Coach Marlin there. See if he can stem, uh, maybe, you know, start something going back in the other direction. Keep the Cougars' momentum um, and, and take away the St. Anselm's. They're going to see what they have. I mean, these players might be gassed. They're not used to this up and down style. They're used to the up style, not, the, not coming back at them. So these guys are more used to sitting in a 2-3 zone, maybe getting a steal than running it up. But, you know, the, this Anselm's team is testing them. We're really in here for a good match. It's a, it's a good one we're watching here. As Eitan Halomi will enter the gym, our great Colo boy looks to cheer on the Cougars. Kranzer gets into Udler. Udler, jumper, won't go. He gets his own rebound, puts it back up, no good. Margulies saves it. And rebound Watkins over to Williams. Over to Williams. He gives it to Welch. Welch layup. It all won't go. Rebound August. He's smothered. He gets it to Zagi. Zagi looks to bring it up. Gives it to Margulies. Margulies to Kranzler. Kranzler, great take. And a blocking, and a oh, charge call. You know the refs love making those theatrical calls. I mean, he held it there for a second. Yeah, he made it. things be a blocking call, and then he put it, lighting up the St. Anselm's crowd. I mean, like, the, the, they get to make a call where they put their hand on the back of their head, and then either shoot the hand forward or call a blocking foul. And, and he held that hand there for a long time and had fun with that one. Coach Singer exclaiming at that call as Williams will look to bring the ball up, gives it to his brother. Or Williams as Shalek is back in the game. Good to see he's healthy. And Williams can get the three to four rebound. Zoggy. Huge, huge rebound there. Harris really attacked the ball. It's exactly what you need out of these guys. Margulies looks to set up the offense. Gives it to. Gives it to August. August drives to the basket. Easy layup. He'll get it to go. They just let him right by. And a seven point lead here for the Cougars. I mean, hopefully I don't lose my voice. I'm exclaiming a little bit too much. I got sick last time, so. And Welch Either way. to Williams. Here we go. To Williams. Yeah, as I noticed after our commentating Thursday night, you weren't in school the next day. Yeah. Sometimes I just get a little bit too excited about these guys. You know, as the Cougars have got a steal by Kranzler. Kranzler really getting the great hustle plays you love to see in championship games right now. He just wants it more. 20 seconds left. These guys are uh, doing everything they can. Here's August. He oh, can't get it to go. Rebound, Kranzler. And he can't get the layup to go with nine seconds left. I don't know about that time management. Rocco Williams but. sees the 10 seconds on the clock, drops it off to his brother. Step back. No, that is not going in. And the Cougars will take a seven point lead into and the fourth quarter. Lead that they had. Three points added on to it, and they're going to feel pretty comfortable. As the Cougar corner getting the end of Mishnichlas on our train going before the fourth quarter. You love to see it. And they're going to run. Let's see if they can give us some high fives as they go by. And we, we extended the microphones out to them in our excitement as well. These I guys mean, are going crazy. The heart of Baltimore, exactly Benny Seichel leading that train. And here they go. Now they're, they're going right by that uh, St. Anselm crowd Saint right Anselm's in front. Crowd. I mean, St. Anselm's fans got to be confused what's going on right now. Some Hebrew words that just sound I like mean, sometimes a gibberish. You know, sometimes you know, I just wonder what, how a non-Jew would feel if they I walk mean, into like a Sukkot. And that's what I always think. It looks walking, like a cult yeah, with walking, their branches. They're walking around a, a, a synagogue or a show or whatever you call it, and they're swinging around branches muttering weird terms. I mean, I think I'd walked into I mean, the middle I mean, of a secret society. It forward, back. I mean, I would think that every day <laughs> in a fruit. And the people must be wondering, why don't they eat that fruit on the <laughs> You know what? We don't. We make it into some uh, jelly or jam or liquor or whatever they do after. 
And here the Cougars go. And fourth quarter here. Ansem's ball. Williams inbounds it to Welch. Welch will look to set it up. Ansem's got to have a little sense of urgency here. And as we forgot to say, six minutes for the rest of your lives, Cougars. Here we go. And, and a seal oh. advised Pastor Williams. Marcus is going with the seal. And the Cougars can just, they don't really. Marcus to bring it up, gives it. He gives it to August. August in the corner. He turns the ball over to Williams. Yeah, August is Williams not used to, to this. his brother. He's going to the basket. What a finish. No, he can't get it to go. Get a nice athletic foul. take, and he'll go to the free throw line. And that's another. Oh, they. Oh, and they. I think that was actually a foul on Alex August, but didn't pick up the foul call. That could be big if this game ends up going anywhere longer. We need to keep our one of our best players. I mean, as we trouble. saw with the JV game we commented last week, with a minute left in overtime, all five JV starters were fouled out. You just I hope that doesn't happen to Alex Augustin. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think it will. The shorter game length and uh, and other other factors are helping it out, helping it out here. But uh, who knows? St. Anselm's at the line. These are huge free throws, and he just missed the front end, the front end of this two shots. So these are these are huge plays for them. They're gonna need to hit these. And another miss. Uh, there's there's Rocco Williams gets gets. And his Jacob can't get it to go. He gets his own rebound. He gives it over to Welch for three. He can't get it to go. Rebound, Margulies over to August. That's the pass they love. And he gets hacked. Euro step. He is fouled. And another foul on Rocco Williams. I think that may be his third or fourth. Huge play. Alex August is going to need to capitalize on these free throws. Uh, and just a fair warning. Uh, if the Cougars do manage to pull this game out, we may not commentate the end as... We might storm the court with the crowd here. It's going to be an exciting one, and we're not going to be I think we out. can get the nice call at the end and then make sure to get into the mosh pit as it happens. I but mean, let's not jinx it. We don't. There's we're, still yes. a it's, lot of time to go. You don't know what's going to happen. Shout out to Coach JJ as he walks into the gym. And here's Alex Hargis for the second free throw, and he hits it. Huge play. Huge free throw. They need to keep hitting these shots. Here's Welch brings up the ball. Pressures. Rocco Williams. Good move. Finds. Oh, blocked. Right, was that August? I think it was August. Oh, great block by August. And he's going to watch that tomorrow night on the huddle camera. He's going to want to see how The huddle, huddle camera. I'll be seeing that on SportsCenter. Oh, yeah. SportsCenter top 10 play right there. Lock in. He gets it to go. They wanted the N1 call. No call. As Margaret was looking to bring up the ball. He gets it over to Zaghi. And Williams knocks it out of bounds. An eight-point game with four minutes left. As the clock is still running. The clock is still running. About four seconds ran off there. It should be about 455, 456. As they inbound it to August. And he'll get to Udler, and Udler gets it to go. And his first bucket of the game. That, that's, that's a huge play. Maybe boosts his confidence a little bit so he can uh, help this team out a little bit more. Right. Udler doesn't seem like he's doing a lot, but you don't notice the small plays he does. He's great on defense. And... As August gets his end, other when and that's time a huge comes, steal. He gets the layup to go as Mario is to bring up the ball, and that's gonna be a charge. Stanley loves that theatrical call. Another charge on Gibby Margulies. I mean, look, he's just gotta be confident. They don't even need to speed this game up. I'm on them. I'm running some time wasting possessions down on their side of the court. Really slow this game down. Take some time off the clock. As you Welch know, pulls up three from the top of the key, he cannot get it to roll in. Good sense of urgency from Anselm's, though. We, As, we, yeah, I mean, we want Anselm's to get the least amount of possessions that they possibly can. So speeding up. Oh, oh. stolen by Williams. Marcus hits the floor. Easy layup. That okay. Marcus is okay. And he Marcus is upset. Is, is claiming that that was a foul. I thought, it was, a, I thought it was a good play by Williams. But I love to see the emotion from Marcus. As he gets it to August. He gets trapped. He throws it to Zagi. To Marcus. He drives through the middle. Throws on back one, he gets a foul call. And that's on Rocco Williams. If that's on Rocco Williams, that's going to be his fourth. That, oh, that is. Are we going to get a shot and not our goodbye from the Cougar crowd if Rocco Williams fouls out? I think that's only four on Rocco. Margulies cannot get the front end to go. And it, there's no chance they're taking Rocco out of this game. I mean, Rocco's, Rocco's scored a, a huge percentage of their points. Ball don't lie, champ. I think that actually was a foul call. Ball probably did Time Gabriel on the book, confirming test that Rocco Williams has four fouls. One more, and he'll be out of this game as Gabriel Margulies gets a second free throw to go. And Welch will bring up the ball for St. Anselm's. He'll give it over to Williams. Step back, crossover. Over to Welch. Stolen by Margulies. 
Three on one break. Good take. He used his body nicely there. Rocco Williams cannot risk another foul. I mean, honestly, I think he should have there, given the circumstances, but. And Williams. He's guarded by Alex. And he can't get to go. Rebound. Muggley's jump ball. That'll be a cool ball. Yeah, this hands up team is starting to get a little bit worried. You know, speeding up, not making the smartest plays. Uh, Anzum takes a timeout. As that cooler drop. I mean, we're hyped. They're hyped. Everyone's hyped. The fans are loving it. I'm seeing, I mean, the high schoolers are into it. The middle schoolers are into it. We have some lower schoolers out here, and, and we have the parents. I mean, this is just amazing to see. I mean, this crowd is almost as packed as you'd see it on that side for any type of huge game, JDS game, championship game. You love to see it. We're getting the I Believe We Can Win chance going. They're mosh pitting on that. Everyone's going crazy. You love I mean, to see it. Interestingly, I, they have not brought out the Schmott chant yet. I mean, but you, don't, you only need the Schmott chant when you're down, Harris. No, Schma is for all the time. I mean, I love my God. Only. Usually, you don't love your God even when I you're always do, but when usually, you're all the time. I mean, you gotta call, exactly. When you're winning, when you're losing, you're ahead, you're behind, but usually the cooler corner does like to pull it out more in the behind as it is more slow chant. I mean, I, I think that, I mean, you heard the I believe that we will win. That goes for before or after. And Mowgli's Mahomes to Zagi, and it'll be overthrown. And, I mean, that was like a Mahomes to Tyree oh, Kill overthrow. Tyree couldn't get it. Court. I believe. And, oh, I guess Zaghi Welch will inbound it. into Williams. <laughs> Williams back to Welch. Welch pull up three. No good. And I don't know, and that'll be off of the Cougars, Sansa's ball. I don't know if that was really the look that no, Anzo's was looking for. He's not happy about that, but you know what? I think if his team just, you know, stays calm, stay, stays calm, stays calm. Oh, stolen from Mario. It's Williams. I thought that should have been a three there. He takes it. He cannot get it to go. Rebound by his brother. He puts it back up, and he gets it to go. And nine. And this is now a eight-point point game. game. Seven-point seven game. Here we go. Cougars. Two minutes, fifty seconds left. They got to defend. They got to defend this lead. Everything they've got. Here's Williams. Davey Margulies maybe try and bait him into a foul. And Margulies bring the ball up. Gives it to. He gets trapped. Gives it to Adler. Adler to Zagi for three. Oh, I thought that would be the dagger. He gets his own rebound. Puts it up. Can't get it to go. I think Marlon might want to have him peek it out right there just to slow it down and get fouled. But Williams will give it to Shaw back for three. No good. Rebound. Out of bounds off the Cougar. St. Anselm's ball. Uh, this is coming down to the wire here. Arizaki I mean, hearing it from Marlon right there as we've all had. I think it was a little bit farther than that, but Arizaki's got to be feeling a little bit upset. He wants to make more of a contribution. You know what? He's playing great, though, defensively. He's doing everything they need him I mean, to do. I remember he had that nice layup to start off the game. Arizaghi, I think he's playing great. Mullins gets it. August is open in transition, but the right call to slow it down as they can just slow the game down right now and because they own this game. Mullins gets it over to August. August dribbles around. Pull up floater. He gets it to go. And that might actually be the dagger here. A nine-point lead with two minutes to go. I think the Cougars are going to be able to pull this one out. Here's Williams, Williams trying to speed up the game a little bit. Over to his brother. his brother. I think that should be a three there. If they want a chance, he gets it. And he gets it to go. And that's a last exactly chance. Hope for his hands up. It's a six point. I mean, as we saw in the JV game last week, it's not over until it's over. It's a low Nigmar, odd Shazen Nigmar. And a scrappy left hands up to Williams. And he gets the foul call. I mean, that's over the line. Lucky he did not hit that. That could have been a huge play if it was an and one. I mean, a six-point game. He knocks these down four points a minute 30. This game is not anywhere close to over yet. Yeah, I mean, the Cougars are going to need to pull this one out, but these free throws are insanely huge. I mean, is Coach Mullen trying to ice Williams here as he calls the timeout? I mean, look, it worked against Billy Cundiff in 2010 to keep the Ravens out of the Super Bowl. We'll see if it works here. For, uh, I mean, are we comparing Williams to Billy Cundiff? I think Williams might be a little bit better than Billy Cundiff. I'm, yeah, Billy Cundiff, not the best kicker for clutch situations. Rocco Williams, on the other hand, exactly who you want at the line, I, I believe, on this team. I mean, it's got to be him or his brother. Yeah, exactly. I mean, th those two guys have really done the majority of the work here for this Anselm's team. The other players have actually created a lot of pressure, though, so they've helped as well. 
on this Cougars team. Alex and Gabe doing a majority of the work. But, you know, Akiva Kranzler making some very important contributions. There is Aggie Jonah Alder playing some great defense. Really making it tough for this uh, St. Angeles team to score. As the Cougar faithful will cheer on Adam the Cougars August, as they get Adam back August up on the court. Getting hyped, getting up in his, getting up in his seat. You know, tell, telling his telling his son Alex August to just really we're gonna bring this one home. The BHA all the way check coming out. I mean, one minute thirty two seconds and we're all the way there. I mean, you we can just picture a banner up on this wall. You can see the wall right now. The banners are all there. There's an open spot right made for this banner. So we'll see if uh, who wants to bring this one home. Williams goes through his routine. Hold to knock down the first free throw, and he cannot get it to go. And that's a huge miss. Huge, huge miss. I mean, for, if he were to make this second one, four points, six points, is massive differences. He needs, these are free throws he needs to hit. And the second free throw from Williams. Here we go. Anselm's fans with their hands up. Cougars fans trying he to He will not get it to go. It rolls off the rim. Marguerite slows it down. I mean, that's, I feel like that's probably, oh, and he... He turns the ball over. I mean, Margley's Coach Marlin is not happy about that one. And an easy layup from Watkins, uncontested, and it's a four-point game. Margley's uh, over stolen by Welch, and that is exactly what the Cougars could not do. And stolen back by Margley's. Margley's slows it down, gives it to August. August looks to get it across half court, straight through the defense. And he dribbles it off his foot. St. Anselm's ball. Oh my god, the Cougars just need to calm down. They do not need to rush. Get the ball against half court. Wow, and they switch the call. Cougars ball. St. Anselm's is not going to be happy about that one. It looked to be off Alex August's foot, but you know what? I mean, we'll all from, we can't see from all the way over here. Yeah, we're pretty far away. Uh, the Cougars here. Oh, you see, all they gotta do is get the ball and for make Anselm foul with. They don't need to put up shots. Just get the ball in. And over to Udler. Oh, and a foul, foul on, on the Cougars. And it ended up working out St. Anselm's way. I believe the foul was on Udler there. He, uh... No! Oh, they, I thought they... I thought... Oh, my God. I thought Arizaghi was about to take the ball. Here's Shaw back. Shaw back in the corner. Gives it to Williams. Down. Williams pull up three. No good. Rebound Kranzler. And a foul on St. Anselm's. Jump. Uh, jump. He switches, oh, he the, switches call. the call. And the and possession going for St. Anselm's. That's a huge play. Huge call is happening right here. 50 seconds left. I mean, and this here. game is as close as it can be. A four point game. This was a nine point lead. St. Anselm's has cut it down. I mean, to I think, Williams. I think Jacob Williams. Williams, step back. Blocked by August, rebound Kranzler! And Sam's has got a foul now if they don't get a steal as Margulies gives it to August. Easy layup, and that is that what the they dagger. do! That could be the dagger! Oh, and off Rocco Williams! It's going the Cougars' way! That's not to do it! 31 can, seconds left in this game! I can smell the championship in the air of this gym. Cougars fans excited. There was a little stint there where we thought Anselm's might bring this one back. And they still have a chance, but six points in 30 seconds and Cougars ball. They really have a chance here. Everyone can smell it in this gym. I mean, I mean I'm a little bit congested still from that uh from that uh commentating job last week, but you know what? I think I can even smell the championship in here. <laughs> I mean, on that last possession, I mean I know the feeling of losing a championship the next day. I mean, you watch that film 300 times, and when when Rocco Williams is watching this game tomorrow, I don't know how he's going to feel about that step back contested three on that last possession. I think he may have been able to get a better look. I mean, these guys are going to watch this game a lot of times. I mean, back I guess back back in the day, they didn't have these cameras on every single game. So pe people would not be scrutinizing over every move they made. But, you know, now we're blessed with our huddle camera on here. Exactly. And these big games we see all all the time. And here's David Malamed in the game for Jonah, uh, for Jonah Adler. Probably a better ball handler, maybe, to try and break this press. That's what I would guess. Gave Margulies to throw the ball in. I think they're going to send someone deep, Arizagi. He's just, and he's only get, a big. Let's though. get it to August, to Malamed, back to Margulies. And he'll Margulies. easily break the press. And he'll pull it back out. And he'll get fouled by Shawback. 
And now it's seconds. a knockdown free throw. And Margulies we're hits, celebrating. If Gaby Margulies hits this shot, it's gonna make it. Oh, it's not. We're not in the. We're not in the. Free, we're not in the bonus yet. But if he, they're gonna be fouling this San Anselm's team. Over to August. Stolen. Oh, August gets it. And one. Wow. Good. Do it. Our capital is. The, Wow. And, the, and the big time player shows up in big time games. I and mean, he just did. Wow. That's, that's that a huge play. Count the basket. The Rex is doing it. Now it's all celebratory, probably. The shot and on and on and on. Goodbye, Chan coming out. As Alex August just says to St. Anselm, no, no, not today. We're winning this championship. And this Anselm's team, they are. And he gets his own rebound. Back to Margulies, and he'll just dribble this out as he'll get fouled. But at this point, I mean, it's all celebrations now over on Cougar Corner on the Cougar sideline. These guys are going to be going crazy. You know what? I, I, I'm actually upset. I didn't make a Mike Breen bang call on that and one, but how was I supposed to you know? I mean, it was a bank shot, so I can't actually. I won't, don't worry. I won't be watching that film the entire time checking oh, checking my mistakes. Gets a steal. Maybe look to make the score look a little better in the box score, and they'll hit that. The five seconds clock's running. Timeout, St. Anselm's five point game with three seconds. I mean, the Green Bay is fouling on that three and then a, a putback layup on that second one. I mean, maybe the coach of St. Anselm's has a family connection to Tracy McGrady who can hop on a plane, but I don't even know if he can pull it off. I mean, what I think the Cougars do at this point is just send all of their guys back and chuck the ball. Even if Anselm gets the ball, at least they can't even make it down to the court twice in four seconds. I mean, I don't know if you watch, if it was maybe two years ago, a Bulls-Hornets game where Zach Levine did something just like this. He knocked down two threes with maybe five seconds left when they were down five. But that's only if, they can, if he can get the ball under his own ba- under his own basket. I think the Cougars should just stand all the way down here, make sure that they're down there so they can touch the ball. You do not want the ball going out of bounds without a touch. And then you just send it. Arizagi maybe run the streak. Alex August run the streak. David Malavid on the streak. And Akiva Kranzler on the streak. And they'll get it into oh, he's stolen. And he misses the layup, and that'll be it. I mean, they, it looks and like they that's the it. And the Cougars win the PVAC Middle School Championship for the first time ever as the fans storm the court. I mean, I don't think we're going to storm it at this point. We are so excited. Kids getting trampled. That is never what you want to see. I mean, but it doesn't matter. I remember as a middle schooler. And look at the banner. And the banner is here. Coach Singer pointing it out. Yeah, we it's see this It's going to look beautiful. We're ready. Oh, oh, I feel bad for Santa. Gonna have to walk are out they going to save the ball? The championship ball. Are we saving it? And then I see a second place plaque for St. Anselm's. Do we Not- cut down the net on a middle school championship? You know what? I, As- I, I, I don't think, you know what? We have a varsity practice happening right after this, but I am totally cool to play without nets tonight <laughs> in honor of these guys. As they'll storm the court once more with the fans and get ready for their banner ceremony. And I think that'll be it here from the Cougar Dome. A great game by the Cougars. I'm Aris Epstein. I'm Daniel Ferziger. And we out. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming out for what was an amazing championship game today. Well played by both teams, just a great game all around. Congratulations to both teams. It's really a credit to our league and to the schools. It's such a hard pass championship game. Right now, I want to take a moment, and on behalf of the PBAC, we want to present our second place flag to the same team. Can I have a volunteer to say that Come on, old guys.
And I'm honored to present the 2022 Championship Banner to the Bourbon University Bourbon.